and welcome. As you may have noticed, this channel has changed its name from Polychrome pa Path to um, Joe Beth Sexton's Crafty Cauldron. And the reason for the name change is because I feel that that more accurately describes what we will do here and what this channel is all about. This is a uh, flip through, this video is a flip through and review of this coloring book, which I've had for a while. Um, I haven't seen a whole lot of reviews or, or flip throughs on this, just maybe a few, couple, three at the most. Um, it is called Mountain and Sea Classics, A Dream of Deities, Graceful Ancient Style Coloring Book. Okay. It's got a little sticker here on the on the binding. Now, a lot of the time when I see a book like this, generally they're a little pricey, but I tend to buy scratch and dent copies, which this one is. However, I have yet to find anything really wrong with it. Um, you can see that it's got some beautiful art on the cover, a little uh, bluish, almost teal foil decoration right there. I can't tell you what any of this says because it is in Japanese. So um, let's get started. So the flip through, the first thing you notice is that the, the cover is colorable and it's made out of thick cardstock. Um, so you can use, you could probably use markers and watercolors on it. On the inside, we have a beautiful koi fish with a design on its head and then a very light gray design here with a pegasus. And this is probably a story, but these pages are color. This one is colorable. And then we've got an index here of all of the pictures. And these are barely bigger than a postage stamp. So they're, <laughs> if you have a magnifying glass, they are colorable. Okay, first design is an oriental dragon, and this is a like an island with being held in a, in a lady's hand. I would assume that's a lady's hand. And you'll notice this book isn't, it, it's stitched binding. It's not just glued in or stapled. It's got an actual um, thread stitched binding. So you can take it apart and, and put it in another form if you'd like. It, it's, it's not going to be that difficult. You just click the, the stitching and, and you can get it in the, into a, like a spiral or et cetera. But you have to be careful because some of the designs go all the way, almost all the way to the binding. So to the center. Technically the pictures are, um, it's, it's on one side of the page because the backs of the pages have the writing on them. This one's absolutely beautiful. She's holding a, a sphere with a bird in it and all of the spheres have birds in them. Even the ones back, way back in the back, you can tell it's a tiny little bird. And she's got feathers, long flowing hair. It looks like a dragonfly clip in her hair. It's really beautiful. I don't know who the author is. Uh, the author is not listed in English. And I found this book on uh, 70 East Books through Etsy, and I will provide a link in the description of the video. So check that out. Oh, oh, that's good. It does lay flat, so that's a big plus. And this guy looks like he's controlling the wind. Whew, looks like it's coming out of his mouth. So it looks like he's controlling the wind. This one has a body, upper body is human, and he's got dragon horns on his head and then the lower body is scales. It's more like a serpent or a dragon. And we've got this woman who is, uh, looks like this is a piece of earth. And this one, he's sniffing a blossom in a tree, which may represent wood, the uh, Japanese elements here. This one looks like fire. And this one's really cool. She's, it, it's the, she's got a body of a cat and then she, it looks like she's got feathers. So she's sort of like a griffin, which is kind of neat. And then this one's got the, the flowing hair with beautiful flowers and a little, it looks like a cheetah or a leopard in her hands. 
Then we have this lady here who is sitting in water amongst lily pads. This one has a dragon coiling around, around the neck here. It's really beautiful. This one looks like a dancer, but the, um, the ground has skeletons on it. Again, we've got the, the, this guy, he's got dragon horns or, or some kind of horns on his head, but he's, he's got legs. He doesn't have the dragon body, but he's got fire, like a fire tattoo on his chest. Oh, I see he's got four, um, four arms instead of two arms. It's kind of neat. Here we have a man, it looks like he's levitating a symbol or creating a symbol out of air, kind of like um, Doctor Strange in, in the um, comic book movie, Doctor Strange. And this lady, she's got swallows. Look at these look like swallows with the swallow tails um, flying around her. This one's carrying a flower. And these are these are in, in the Japanese style. They've got the the eyes, sort of like manga eyes. She's got horns coming out of the front of her head. These look like ginkgo leaves, ginkgo biloba, like a ginkgo tree. And then various flowers. She's got a necklace and a snake. This one's really cool. This one appears to be someone who is reaching down into the water, but these look like crystals. And then there's a koi fish coming up right here. This one's really beautiful. She's got a nice flowing gown. There's a lot of pictures in this book. And this person seems to be playing a musical instrument. And down here, we've got like a little diagram of the musical instrument. There's the Pegasus. And this one is wearing a robe with cranes on it. And then this looks like it's a vine being conjured or, or something like that. Beautiful picture. This one would be so beautiful, the color. Oh my gosh. And watercolor or ink tints, that would be amazing. And in the back, it wouldn't matter because the back just has writing on it other than this little bird. So we've got that girl in a gorgeous, it looks like a kimono. Oh, and she's taking off a mask. That's beautiful. I love masks. And this girl is, she appears to be nude, but she's all covered up with her hair. And then she's got horns. And then this creature here has the same kind of horns. Like it's her spirit animal. Feathers. Very, very nice. Here's that koi fish from the inside cover, the front cover, I think. Might be the same picture. Yeah, that's the same picture. And then here's the man with the um, serpent body. Doesn't look like the same guy. He looks like more like a merman than, than the serpent that was there before that we saw in another picture. Oh, this is beautiful. She appears to be swimming through the water and she's got fins on her on her arms. She's absolutely gorgeous. And this one is a couple, both with wings like angels. This one looks like it's a uh, person with a, a single horn, like a unicorn horn and fangs. And they're kind of, looks like they're opening a door there. Oh, this is really cool. That's relatively simple to color. Not too much in that picture. And I haven't colored anything in this yet. I will. I intend to very soon because this is just an absolutely gorgeous book. Another creature, almost like a centaur, but there's waves, ocean waves it looks like in the back. I'm sure these have something to do with, with um, Chinese or Japanese mythology. And this lady has bird legs and she's holding a little baby. You can just barely see the baby's face right there. So cute. Little chair of like people. And these look like pears, peaches. I'm sorry, they look like peaches. And then here's our front cover lady. And this looks, this is a mermaid. And she's got fins coming out of her back. That's really beautiful. It looks like a magical fox or kitsune fox, I think they're called. A serpent. It's really cool. 
Oh, this this one's neat. One eye in the middle of the forehead. Hmm. Could symbol intuition. Could symbolize intuition. This man's holding a. Um, it looks like he's around insects and papyrus. That's what that looks like. And then he's holding a skull. Very cool. Very cool. And then this is our back cover. Again, the cover is colorable. It's thick stock. So there's that. Here's the back cover. One of the pictures from inside the book. And the um, stickers that are on the outside, unfortunately, but I might be able to peel those off. I don't know. And again, this was a scratch and dent copy, so it, it was a little bit less, a little bit less expensive than it would have been. And I, unfortunately, since it, it was, a, it's been a year just about, I, I don't remember how much I paid for it, but it's called Mountain and Sea Classics, Sea is an Ocean, A Dream of Deities, Graceful Ancient Style Coloring Book from the 70 East store on Etsy and again I will provide links um, this book will take colored pencil um, it it may take watercolor if you don't use a lot of water the paper is almost like create space paper so you're gonna have to be careful about that even though all of the pages are one-sided and um, keep in mind that it is a stitched binding so see you got a stitch binding in there so a beautiful book and uh, I hope that some of you managed to purchase it because it is absolutely gorgeous. And uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell so it looks like it's ringing to get notifications of uploads of new content and when I'm live streaming. I live stream twice a week on Tuesdays and Sundays at 2 p.m. Pacific Time. I live in Arizona. Come on in and visit me at Joe Beth Sexton's Crafty Cauldron. Please take care, and remember, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. Bye-bye.